Um, you're quite likely to have uh, occasions when you want to display a number of photos. Maybe you've had um, some big event in your department and you want um, the pupils to be able to see the photos. You could obviously um, insert each picture individually, but that may well take um, ages. So a better way to do it is to insert an album. Um, now, there are a number of pieces of software uh, available that you can use for an album and you can link to those within sites. Um, I'd recommend that you use Google Photos. Um, it's very straightforward and of course it works very nicely with um, with sites. So before you uh, insert an album you obviously need to create an album. So we'll just look at that very quickly. I'll go to this new tab here. Um, now here on my Google Apps I have the uh, Photos um, icon. If you don't have that or you can't find it then um, you can simply uh, type photosgoogle.com into the um, uh, address bar um, and you'll see that here I can upload photos, it's very very easy um, it just opens a dialog box, you find the photos and press upload um, here the create button, I can create um, an album uh, these are the only photos that I've got um, uh, at the moment, but I can select the ones that I want to go into the album and then create, and I'll call it um, as you like it too, because I already have one. Okay, and you see the album is uh, is created there. And if I come back to uh, the page where I want to insert the um, the album. Again, open the edit view. Um, I'm going to place my cursor where I want it to be and I want to insert and you want this Google Plus button. Come across and select photo album. Now you can see it will link to um, other web addresses if you host your um, album anywhere else. But uh, I'll go down. This is the one we've just created. So I'll select that, and it brings up another uh, a number of um, possibilities. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to choose for it to autoplay, so that means it will scroll through the photos as soon as you go to the um, to the website. I can choose whether I want a border or whether I want to include the title. Click save, and as always, you'll just get a blank box until you save the page. But then you'll see that the uh, the pictures will automatically just start scrolling through. Obviously, you do have um, pause, and you can go back and forward as you wish. Um, so that's a much more uh, convenient way of um, presenting lots of photos than presenting them all and inserting them all individually.